Hey guys, good morning. It's me, Viv, and it is the 14th of April, almost the middle of the month. Um, it's just swooshed by really fast, and uh, it's a late one, late morning video I'm recording today. Welcome to my daily chronicles or daily vlog or whatever this is. Um, <clears throat> it is April seems to be like going really fast. It seems to be a busy month but in a good way and I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm not sure if I have enough energy for it but I'm trying to tap into <laughs> resources. Um, I can't seem to sleep early as much as I want to and then that trickles down to me not being able to work out as well as I want to but <clears throat> let's hope we fix that there's still time every day is a new day <laughs> um, what have I learned yesterday and the past few days is about superpowers I'm not talking about spider-man Superman, Wonder Woman, and those kinds of things, but your internal superpower, which we all have. And um, I got this lovely thing from my friends the other, on Monday. No one is you, and that is your superpower. We love you, Viv. I really love it. Because, and I keep it on my desk now, um, it reminds me that I'm enough. And that's been my challenge all these almost 45 years of living that I don't think I'm good enough and I've dealt with this question and this issue multiple times but never found an answer I know there's a problem I know I need to look for an answer and a solution or a way around it or a way through it <clears throat> but nothing bites but like um, a wise lady told me on Monday Janet um, that when it's time, you, your thinking will just snap into place and then you'll find a superpower and then you'll feel that you're good enough. Then you'll feel okay. Then you'll feel that you're settled. And it's like wearing a different kind of... It's like suddenly getting 2020 vision. And to me, that's amazing. And... I, I know she was right. I felt, I didn't feel confident that I could get there. I don't know why, but um, but she was right. <laughs> of course she was right. And um, it, it, our conversation um, kept on, and it's still repeating itself in my head, but that simple fact that, I know it's true, like for a lot of things, it, it just, it's just a snap of my, a mindset and then you look at things differently. You know, it's just, it just, it only took 45 years to ruminate <laughs> age old mind and stuff like that. But um, it's been that way for me. And after Monday, I started being woke. I don't like that word. I don't actually understand how it, how it works. but. I started feeling um, a bit more open to receiving, um, like a uh, weight's been lifted off, like um, I'm a little bit more lighter and I don't have to ha carry this whole weight of expectations that I always carry on my shoulders. You're not good enough, you're, you're creative, you're not, what, what do you do? You don't have a what kind of a day job do you do all sorts of things you know and um, I don't know why even that I'm gay and I'm not settled down with someone don't have kids not fulfilling your parents um, dreams for yourself <clears throat> but it's okay I'm, I'm not a bad person I do a lot of charity not so much giving money but I help so many people all the time and animals anyone can testify to that <laughs> um, but yeah I mean I was wondering if you guys know your superpowers and are you working your way towards getting it it's 
it's not a pressure thing it's more so we all have have it in us we all have this thing in us that makes us us i have this it makes me me you have it it makes you you and um are you tapping into it and if you're not do you have a suspicion that it's there and that you should tap into it and then your life would be a little bit more better that way if you do try to be curious so I've been curious for 45 years trying to get to where I am right now not the perfect place but I'm happier I'm happier because I told Janet that I always want to belong somewhere and it feels like I don't belong anywhere but that line she told me made me feel like I do belong I belong to so many places like nobody rejects me really I just think they want to reject me this is Saida my oldest girl <coughs> I belong with Saida too and Saida belongs with me and it's just I, I, I'm probably going around and around with this but Firstly, what's your superpower? We all have them. Why don't you tap into them? Or tap into it. And um, if you haven't, it's okay. Just slowly, slowly think about it. Figure it out. Because when you figure it out, that superpower, just like any other superhero, can help you help the whole world and make it a better place. I know it sounds cheesy, but I love cheese. Z ness that way and um, I just watched Thunder Force with Melissa McCarthy and I forgot that other lady's name and it's amazing I mean it's not the normal um, superhero story in the cool way but it's the funny way because it's Melissa McCarthy and at 40 mid, mid 40 women getting the superpowers hey it's close to home and I feel that way I love it um, so I, I, I just want to spread that to you guys too. If you haven't found your superpowers, try to look for it. It's amazing when you find it. I'm slowly getting used to it. You know like when Spider-Man first got his superpower and he didn't know how to use his webs and he goes, Shazam! On! Go! That's the same way. I'm starting to get used to it and learning the ropes of, oh, the world looks differently now. Right, Saida? Yeah, so that's my wish for you and that's my lesson for the first half of this week. <clears throat> no pressure. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. This is me, Viv, signing off. Take care, stay safe, mask up, keep a distance, but stay connected. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.